GNA Spice Legends, welcome to Burn and Bites, Down Under. The hottest show, Down Under. Uh, we are here tonight. We're going to interview uh, the good old Swell, Chris Swell. You probably know him as the old Swell Master of Swell. Uh, he talks all things chilly in competitions on the old YouTube channel. He's got his old, his old, old um, Facebook channel as well. Um, around Australia, he's a bit of a chilly legend and um, he's definitely given me a pretty good introduction to the old. Uh, live streams here as well so um i I gotta introduce you to these guys and um just pick his brain a bit guys so um we'll bring him from backstage and uh have a bit of a chat to the old swell mice before we begin swell mate how you doing buddy g'day you bunch of chili chomping champions how are we all (laughs) great to see you just get that out of the way first i'm sure viewers are getting sick of me saying that on every bloody comment and video but (laughs) sorted Everyone's got their own sign on, mate. Like, you know, so do I. <laughs> so yeah, it's good. We, it's good to sort it. of hear that kind of sign on, sign off kind of thing. Yeah, that's the way, mate. How you doing? How you feeling? Yeah, good, mate. Just um, got back into town from working away on the mine site for a couple of weeks, so it's great to be home. To be and so we're, around we're, we're sort of, yeah, we're sort of in the future here, aren't we, matey? We're uh, we're two hours ahead of you, and it was it next month we're going to be three hours ahead of you. Oh yeah, daylight savings through that. <laughs> Daylight savings. <laughs> ah, yeah, I know exactly. Freaking out. <laughs> so I thought that's been pretty funny. Um, and he said he just got back from the mine sites, mate. Is that right? Yeah. Um, maybe I shouldn't go in it too much in case some of these are questions in the interview. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah I all guess all yes and no is a, simple, is a good enough answer. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, Keith. Thanks for joining us, champ. That's the way. Hello, all the way from Indiana, mate. That's the way. Good to see you, Keith. Awesome, buddy. So, um, look, um, well, you've obviously explained a little bit about you. You know a bit about the drill, about what's going on with um, the old fire trial and what like that we usually do. But obviously, as everyone knows, you know it's pretty hard to ignore freaking Corona these days. <laughs> so we're not going to talk about that. But the reason why we're doing this all live stream stuff, guys, is obviously it's a bit of a walk to WA, but also <laughs> it's hard to see people in person because the old Corona. So uh, we're doing the old live stream kind of version interviews at the moment. Um, that way we can obviously get a hold of Swell and other awesome chili legends um, and have a bit of an interview with a difference live stream for you guys. So that way you guys don't miss out. But we've also given all the uh, the, the legends that come on our show to the option to bring their own fire trial. So obviously you're all pretty familiar with our fire trial, but today Swell's brought his own. So you want to tell us a bit about what you brought, um, the flavors you brought to the show today, tonight? Yeah, well, I've always been pretty jealous of the crew that have got to try your fire trial it looks like a good um a good good fun session and so yeah obviously we have to come up with our own style and uh what i've got here is i've got one armchair if you can pop it on full screen at all there all right. i'm gonna jump out of here so thanks thanks adam for joining us champ just drop his comment down and we'll be able to see what i've got there we go so on this side we've got six sources in the the mild to hot hot range and then over on this side, that's where we we, we get down to, to the good stuff, to the uh, to the hot, super hot, and extreme range. So my order may not be quite right. Uh, some of these I haven't had for a while, and my tolerance obviously changes with everyone. So we'll we'll see how we go. So they're all they're all Aussie. Uh, I think eight out of twelve are West Aussie. So nice the local crew. Bit of bit of WA or West Side, um, all the old support. <laughs> <laughs> Represent a West Side. <laughs> You're like, oh, dude, of course you had to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But That's the way, mate. Of, um, Anthony right. Chiller. Thanks, mate. Robert Mc- McCann. Robert McCann, Michael Adam Thompson, and Mikey Harrison. How you doing, Mikey? That's the oh, way. The Let's go to see the Mad Hatter. <laughs> yeah. well, it's going to see a few, few of you guys here. Um, and obviously, if you guys just out on this live tonight, we'll whack it on the page and um, obviously Swell will whack it on his page as well. So any of you guys, you miss it out on the live, we'll have it all pre-recorded on the pages there for you guys. All right, mate. Well, um, let's get down to it. What's your first one you're going you're gonna to have a go at? Brilliant. Um, what's your rules with, with drinking through the... Through mate, the we're not PG. Go nuts. Go nuts. Right. Drink as much as you want. <laughs> you know, and only if you want to push yourself, you know, speak it. Yeah, so, so go for it. What do you got? Oh, Spews get the views. Hey. Represent. I noticed you got the hat there too. Spews get the views. I'm loving that. That's a good logo. It's so <laughs> good. I've been spreading the word. 
far and wide, people ask, what, what, what is this about? What are you spewing about when you view things? Like, <laughs> you, know, you view me spew. It's pretty simple. As a- I eat so much chili <laughs> that I'm spewing. And you get the word. As, a, as it has said, hey, Swell, you mad bastard. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cheers, Az. All right, Swell. Well, look, let's, let's just jump on the first one. What's the first source you got there, mate? All right. Coming out of Esperance. Yeah, how's South that? How you doing? Point of Western Australia. We have a have a awesome chili producer. We, we, have, a we have a lovely drop. We have a lovely drop. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. This yep. is Hellfire Bay sauce. Ride Ooh. the bonnet. Which, Ride the bonnet. Yeah, awesome, yeah. But, oh, my focus is shit. All right, I'll just have to explain it to you. That's so right. He's given this a Caribbean jerk sauce style. It's hot on the on his um, chart. And this is shout outs to Ernest Austin from Hellfire Bay. He's a awesome Hellfire chili Bay. Nice. He's a, excuse me, he's even entered two chili eating competitions. So he is a legit chili chomping champion. And he has <laughs> bloody resources. So this one Sarah great. Sarah Walski's saying a lot of above us. G'day Walski. No Both worries. the Walskis are in the house. Cheers. Those Thank Wall you. Chili champions. Yeah, Wall Chili, Mrs. Mrs. Wonka producing the Mrs. Awesome. Wall Chili Wonka. Wow. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> well, so what I'm chopping on next, matey, I've got the Kilties. Oh, here you go. Kilties. Uh, it's Brilliant. called Chipotle, hand smoked Chipotle barbecue sauce. Look, um, after the review, I have absolutely fallen in love with this sauce. Um, I've already ordered four more bottles. <laughs> I'm Damn. like, give me more. I'm like, I'm like putting it on sandwiches and nachos and pasta. People look at me going, are you fucking serious? Like, did you just eat that on the other thing? I'm like, yeah, mate, this is going on everything, motherfucker. It's good shit. So this is the mildest I've got today, but my God, I've fallen in love with this barbecue sauce. I've always been a barbecue sauce fiend, but geez, that's good. Brilliant. Yo, well, that that's a good good sign of a sauce if you can't stop eating it and you just got to keep yeah, buying it, man. That's brilliant. And I'm like, I'm like next to it in my bed, it's under my bed pillow. Like, mm, precious, <laughs> precious. No one touches the precious bear. <laughs> the impressions are brilliant. All right, matey. So look, well, let's let's um, get both of these down our mouths now. now. What are you whacking on your gear on, mate? Are you just, are just straight straight on the um the spoon, or have we got something you're gonna eat it with? Yeah, well, with my um, reviewing background, check out Swell's Chili Reviews on YouTube. We don't taint our sauces. Don't taint the sauce. I have to taint my sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't taint it with other products, other food products. So we try to keep it neutral as possible. And I've got this awesome uh, wooden spoon. It's like massive, massive is it, size. Is it so. specially made so it doesn't taint the flavor? Uh, no. <laughs> No, it's just a motherfucking poop. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry, Johnny. We'll get a mother of pearl down here eventually. Once you come down under, once uh, you settle down under, I believe you'll be filling your suitcase with your awesome products, and I'll be definitely on that list, mate. Tuba Terra and a uh, mother of pearl spoon, please. Hell yeah. All right, mate, well, let's get down to it. Whack, it. whack your gear on. I've got my gear on, my, my chicken ready to go. So I'm... Delving into a bit of fried chicken last night, guys. Last night I made some nachos. I shredded the chicken and I've got some leftover chicken. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go back with some of the flavors tonight. So, because I know oh, yeah. chicken's a pretty basic flavor. So it's easy to spice it up. All right, mate. Well, let's go to the obvious one. The obvious question. Um, probably the, the most obvious question is um, what's the story with the name, mate? So, cheers. We'll eat this first and you give us an answer, right? Eh? No worries. Cheers, champion. Oh. Just love that barbecue. Barbecue, tomato, goodness. With a bit of jerk. Oops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a jerk. No, wait, wait. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> um, the name. The name Swell, I believe. Yeah. You told that, yep. What we're referring to? Yeah, well, yeah. It's not that exciting. I just dropped the E from Saul. <laughs> no, fair enough. It's a big, big jump there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so yeah, was it was it self done or did everyone just go oh yeah you definitely swell for sure uh, like was it was it self given nickname or did everyone, other people give it to you uh self self given when Roz and I did our first chili review way back um was it three years ago we just came up with a name swell and Roz's chili reviews so sort of stuck there and uh, Roz he's Rory so he goes by Roz's nickname and I went from Roz yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, an interesting, interesting thing about that is on site at work, everyone calls me Chili, obviously, but I can't be <laughs> Chili in the Chili community because everyone's a Chili. Because everyone's so Chili. Why, and yeah. you want to you want to know a little side note? Um, when I was putting the sources on, I made a slight error. I dug some of the sauce out. And the hot, I put the hottest sauce on my fork and put it on my piece of meat and forgot that it was on the fork. So I've just skipped all the sauces and went straight to the hot one just there. And I'm like, oh, that's that's extra flavor. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm already burning and selling that now. <laughs> yeah. You just stitched yourself up, mate. That's just stitched myself up. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, well, look, let's just jump with the next one. What's the next flavor you got, buddy? All right. Second one from Perth. Actually, these... First six are from Western Australia. Well, mine, mine's from WA as well. God, the sauces. Oh, I got the, the jerk. Gods. We talked about jerk before. Yeah. We got the, uh, the old jerk. One and two were the same style. That's cool. Mm, um, my, my two is nothing like that. I'm going with the jelly, a.k.a. jam. Ooh. Ooh. Chili air jam. Nice. All burn chili. All burn chili. Yeah. Shout out to Paul Woodhams. The chief saucier, he's, yeah. he's the man that come up with the. Just a second, what's it called? <laughs> We've lost the swell. Where did he go? Surfed up. <laughs> Flatliner, which I highly Ooh. recommend you never try, because yep. it will kill you. <laughs> don't say, so don't scull it. No, the video that I did on that, a whole teaspoon is yet to be released on the YouTube. It was on a closed group on Facebook. So if you would know, Adam, you'd know about that, but it will come. <laughs> so you can see that. That was intense, bro. It was like camping all again. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I got the jerk from um, the gods of sources there. So while you're whacking it on, mate, I'll ask you this question. And again, it's like mm. a pretty, no, it's another pretty obvious question, but I, I thought everyone mm. would like to know. Um, oh shit, we've got a problem. Maybe pour it onto it, mate. It's jelly, mate. Oh. <laughs> Just breathe on it really heavily. Like, <gasps> this is uh, this is Little Swell's favourite product to to oh, yeah. sample, and Little it's Swell? got Maruga, Maruga Scorpion in it, so it's nothing Sweet. to be shy at. So Swell Junior. Yep, Swell Junior. Swell so Swell. I'll use this small oh, nice. spoon. We'll get a good nice. slathering. All right. Good one, mate. All right. All well, right. you got you, you got your sauce ready. Cheers, cheers. All right, let's go. Yeah. Um, what got you into chili, mate? Very obvious question. Mm. Mm. I love sweet love heat. Love that jerk. I think sweet heat's the best type of heat you can get. Yeah. All right, my origin. Um, so I wasn't the origin much story. Of a kid. <laughs> um, Instead of Batman begins, it swell begins. <laughs> our family <laughs> was typically bland, like most Aussie families, not really raised with spice. So it wasn't from back in the day. Um, just live with a guy. He got into it quite a bit and we started growing our own plants. We used to go to Mexican for dinner quite regularly. Adam just My, jumped in there and said, I had a great laugh when he took on the flat line as well. <laughs> yeah, he did. He almost laughed his own bloody face off. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? My, my uncle, he, he started seeing this Thai bird and she loved obviously spice. So got into a bit more with their cooking. Yeah, good one. And then it just it just took off. We heard about the Araluan Chili Festival, our our number one festival over here, and started going to that. That's when I started meeting the crew, like the Hellfire crew. Um, and yeah, it just just kept going, just kept building. Destroyed myself on Blair's Megadeth back in the day when that was. Oh, that's of, good fun. That stuff, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roz will tell you that that shit should not be consumed. I, ever. I had a I had a friend who. Um, he made a stir fry with only kangaroo meat. And if you know kangaroo meat, it's not a very overpowering meat. Um, and just like smashed it with Blair's Megadeth. And no, no, it's not a Megadeth, it's Ultra Death. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't mean to, I mean, I mean to dis make the Blair's sauces, but the, the Ultra Death is not the greatest flavor, but it's certainly a lot of heat there. <laughs> Definitely those so, extracts. So that was, you know that was, yeah, it was like an extract. Yeah. And so that was, um, that was like, kangaroo meat i've never tried before that was so spicy <laughs> champion um in in the last comment there from jay Callahan, just pop that one up r.i.p benny yeah yeah 
yeah. So the guy I was talking about that I lived with, that was, that was Benny. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. He, he passed away early. So, um, shout outs, Benny, you helped me start this journey and I'm forever thankful. Yeah. Michael Jolis is buddy as well. Cheers, mate. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, all right. Well, look, uh, another source, another, uh, another question. So let's move it on. And, um, I think what's the next source of you on there, buddy? All right. We're going for the one. number one chili producing company in all of Australia. Bunsters. Oh, Bunsters. Posh barbecue. That's rated yeah, uh, eight out of 10, is it? Or 10 out of 10? Uh, minus two out of 10. I see ashes Isn't with that... the Blair's ultra. Oh my God. Yucky. <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you, do you know how many deaths are in that range? Have you, have you seen them all? I think there's three, isn't there? There's like nah. super mega ultra. No. Yeah. How many is um, in that one? Ultra, mega, beyond death, after death, pure death, death, death. <laughs> no, nah, that last one's bullshit. But there's right. <laughs> death, death, death incarnate, super mega ultra death. <laughs> death, die, death, death, die, death. Super color fragile SV low dosage death. <laughs> this is the way <laughs> this is the one I'm on, mate. So I'm doing um the Raspberry 100 from good old Firing Line Gourmet Chili. Um, this one originally, Adrian made a hundred bottles and it was so popular to hit that make more. I, I reckon he's easily past 5,000 now for sure. <laughs> Champion. Well, well, Bunster came out with this one with very little heat, but very fancy. So what's the heat rating on that one? Oh, she, she, she doesn't give any, she still puts, um, bird's eye, I believe in here, but. Oh, okay. So I it's like an eight out of 10, maybe. Oh, not just Chipotle. That's it. Oh, okay. So it's really six. If, if that. No, yeah, she doesn't even put a. Actually, I don't think she writes chili on there anywhere except for the mention of Chipotle chili. So no, it's not okay. in the label. It's not a chili sauce. So, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't do it. <laughs> so Touche. So He's like, that's okay. It sounds like it's a good flavor then. All right, mate. Well, it let's, is, let's. It's black truffle and cacao. It has black mm. tra Tasmanian truffle oil in it, and it is the fucking bomb. Oh, sounds good, mate. Almond rice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit thick, is it? Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's getting towards the end, though. I've been enjoying every drop. And you're like, no, please, I need some more. The precious. <laughs> I'm sure oh, she'll right. hook me up. I've had beers with Bunster. Oh, there you yeah. go. You have your beers with Renee. Dropping. All right. Got to give us a hookup, mate. Got to give us a hookup. Like, hey, Renee, yeah. what's going on? For sure. <laughs> All right, mate. Cheers, buddy. Let's dive in this one. All right? Definitely. So next question I want to ask you. Is, um, look, when did you start your show, buddy? Oh, the first, first episode. Um, yeah. I can give you the exact date of it just quickly. Oh, here we go. Getting the exact date. <laughs> I want to say, I'm pretty sure it was three years. And did, and so the question is, what would, what was the starting? Did you, did you start the show with a particular name and change it or? Right, so it was November 2016, so we're coming up to four years. Yeah, it's back in my day. <laughs> back when I ate little bits of chilli. Back when I ate tiny bits of chilli. <laughs> mm. Well, sort of the origin of that was um, shout-outs to Josh Sultar. Slosh, as we know, on the um, the chilli the chili reviews. So he was in chili his chilli reviews before most of us, and he did mm. beer reviews as well. Uh, beer o'clock with chili and beer. Beer o'clock with yeah. slosh. And he had four four beers, uh, one a week, one video a week, and they all were linked together with the theme. And if you guess what the theme was between the four beers, you got to win the prize. And that nice. was a bar of chili chocolate made by yeah. our local chili, uh, chili chomp and champion Matthew Price. Shout outs at the Forge, and Matty. Yeah, he said, "Chomp that! Why don't you do a video? Tell us what you think." We got into it. We 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 had more fun watching us ourselves back to see how <laughs> ridiculous it was in one take with no preparation, and it went well. And we went, yeah, let's do this. So we just kept rolling. Keep we, doing we that. We were filming on my phone back in the day. It was so basic. <laughs> back in my day, on the old the chili phone. <laughs> chili phone. <laughs> I'm like that too. Like I now everything I'm chili everything right. So. You know, Batman, I think I've said this before to people, you know, Batman goes, does it come in black? I'm like, does it come in red? <laughs> <laughs> it's constantly people going, what the fuck? Why you got so much red shit? I'm like, chili, bro. Like, oh, red. yeah. It's got to be red. Got back here. In red lines, chili lines. Oh, right. Yeah, i got a bit of some, some fiery stuff behind me. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. 
<laughs> nice, mate. All right. So Johnny Hexberg says, epic. That's the way, Hexy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, mate. Well, another source of the question. So this next source I got here from is from Byron Bay Chilico. It's Heavenly yeah. Habanero. It's not bad. That's a, that's a gateway source that, I, that, that helped it's me. It's a gateway that. source. Yeah. Just spiciness. Don't try that sauce. That it's a gateway sauce. <laughs> I would have picked that up from any Woolworths or Coles. It really helped. Back um, in my day. Yeah. 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 And and right. I believe they are on par with Munster as the biggest producers in Australia. So They're well done. Definitely one of the most Byron. recognized. You say Byron Bay Chili Co. Most people know it. Even a few people overseas know it too. You know, so represent yeah. Australia. Whoop, whoop. Where, where are they based? Byron Bay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. Okay. Tricky, tricky. He's good with the questions. Maybe, maybe you should interview people as well. Oh, I might give it a crack sometime. We'll go you give it a crack. Okay. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you got there, mate? Chili right, ballistic another, sauce. By yeah, another West. Ultra delicious. No, no, ultra delicious is just the name of. I oh, know it's a tag. Where are we? Daddy like. Where are they? <laughs> okay, it's it's under ballistic. It's very small print. But this Lithic. is chilling out in WA. Chilling out in WA. Oh, I've heard of these guys. They are pretty cool, actually. Yeah. They are very cool. Another OG crew that, OG. that were back in the day. And OG. Big shout out to Chef Kenny for getting Johnny Scoville over Kenny. to Western Australia to get him into the to the festivals. And that was the best meetup. They got to shake the is, hand of that great. Chili is Kenny still around? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, if he wasn't yet. around, it. He wasn't around. I'm like, oh my god! Thank you, Kenny. You bastards! <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. You just made me say it. Then, <laughs> all right. So, this so is a what do we got? Habanero vinegar, sugar, crushed chili, powdered chili, garlic, rock and herbs, chili salt. So yeah, mainly like a habanero based chutney. It's very thick. Ooh. Nice. Oh, nice. Ce. Chili. Nice. chili, look at me, look at me, chili, chili, look at me. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. All there right. You, you ready? Here we go. Yep. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. All right. Yeah. Do you want to ask you? Um, this is probably where you were talking about before. Just good thing you didn't sort of say anything. How do you manage your um work, home, and chili life? How do you balance that kind of stuff? Ooh. Oh, fuck, fuck work. That is a good question. Let's just, yeah, <laughs> fuck work. Let's just do chili. <laughs> True. Now that's a good chili. That's a good chili name company. Chili company name. What? Fuck work. Fuck work. Let's, let's do, do chili. chili. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or, or 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 a YouTube channel. Fuck work. Let's do chili. Yeah, I'm on. Do like, Yeah, fuck work. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I have been. I'll, I'll, I'll say, can I just say a little side note, right? Um, I I was drinking lots and lots of Red Bull and V when I was in construction when I was younger, and all the time, anytime you sort of made a note to your your boss and said, oh, "I ask you in the question, go, oh, well, with this particular thing you want me to make, what about this?" And they're going, "Just get it done, cunt. I don't give a fuck. Just get it done, cunt, right?" And they say it so many times, "Just just get it done, cunt. I don't care, right?" We we're like, "Let's make a." An energy drink called "Just Get a Dunk Cut." <laughs> <laughs> I was legit. I was. I was legit. Like so close to going. Fuck it. Let's just make an energy drink called "Let's Get a Dunk Cut." <laughs> yeah, it's like a. It's like the 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 byline for um Red Bull. Instead of gives you wings, gets yeah, shit done. Just get a, Let's get shit done. Just get a dunk cut. <laughs> <laughs> so tell tell us how do how do you manage this balance, mate? Uh, I, I've been out of work in periods here and there so that's been a good chance to concentrate on the channel um i do quite a lot of ed editing on my videos and not obviously live streams so i like to put a lot of time and effort into them uh sometimes a bit too much a bit over edited <laughs> and such but how do you over edit something like oh the pictures i put on the screen and and a bit of the information and you know start, i don't cut and mouch out especially at a cheerleading competition you want to see start doing all. start doing moves out of the matrix and yeah I'm yeah taking notes where's my pen <laughs> come here come here get out, get out, get out. <laughs> but yeah generally i'm working full-time uh sole mm. income supporter of the family so well, that's i'm fun. out there uh only recently have i got back into fifo so i'm away for quite long periods 
Um, fly and fly out. That's for everyone that doesn't know what FIFO is. It is. That's <laughs> correct. So you stay away. My current roster is two weeks away, one week back at home. Yeah. And I'm hoping to do more, more chili challenges out on site. So you guys may have seen last week I did Tracy Chili's lip sync to uh, Metallica's Fuel. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. Oh. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. Oh. Yeah. Be careful. You'll get copyright like I did. Wow. <laughs> I get copyright all the time. People are like, what is Jack Black doing? I don't think he would do that. That's not in his contract. Like, oh, and it's not Jack. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, <Awesome>. motherfuckers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And we did um, the jerky challenge, Budgie's jerky. So that was brilliant. There's the reap on, was it? Correct. Nice. Coming up, I've had to change plans because my dad, my stepdad, who I originally got these for, Ooh. is not down. So I've had to find a substitute. So I'm pretty sure we all know what these are. Something mad <laughs> about these boxes. Ah, something mad. That's very good in your window and your window. Yeah, nice. So, um, <laughs> unfortunately, it was meant to be this weekend, but we've had to postpone it. So keep your eyes peeled in about two weeks' time. I'm going to do my set on site with a bunch of um, mining, gold mining champions, hopefully. They will get into it, and the other set will be going to someone special in my life. Shout out, Wee. Adam Thompson. Oh. You know who you are. Oops, <laughs> I just said his name. No, oh, Adam snap! Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, I mean, oh, uh, shit! Uh, I mean, uh, that person. I mean, no, uh, that yeah. the person with the face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so when when are you going to give him the ring? Uh, next minute. <laughs> next next minute. bro. Okay, sweet is bro. All right, well, next source then, bro. Uh, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Roger. That's- all right, mate. Well, what's it? Uh, my next source here I've got is from Tracy Chili, Aussie Gold. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. I come from a land of gold. One. Look at this. Ooh. We're matching colors. Twinsies. Similar in colors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what what flavor? Blender. What flavor you got there, mate? All right. We have got a small producer who's not legit, as I'm sure aware. Not legit. Shout outs. Uh, another Mr. Chili champion <laughs> judge. We've got Andrew Jordan's. Oh, this is Jordan. Out sauces. Yeah, so this is the chili, lime, and passion so, fruit. So he's not, he's not dunking balls. He's dunking sauces. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, I got a few off him uh, last year when I helped him out with a couple of um, Pepper X pods that we thought we had left over from the chili eating competition I entered down Ravenswood. Yeah, yeah. nice. Was a bit of poetic license. They were never fucking Pepper X. Come on, what are you? Doing? Adam Adams is like back at you, swell. Oh. <laughs> um, um yeah, have they, we, have we... they had the Pepper X saying, "Oh, these are three million Scovilles. You're all fucked." And like, um, Ed, Ed Curry is not going to release Pepper X until he's verified by Guinness. They're not fucking Pepper X, but you know, the crowd yeah. thought it was great. Whoa, are they? Holy shit. Oh, what? Oh, here you are. Hotter than Reapers. Oh, no. Hotter than the Reapers get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone have a go at me to go, oh, hottest, hottest chili in the world, Reapers. Rah, rah. I'm going, oh, it's fucking dragon's breath. You can't fucking rah. I'm like, all right. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Awesome. You know. I'm like, all right, cool. But, like, you're not mass producing dragon's breath, are they? <laughs> no. But yeah. keep your eyes because I know who produced those chilies. They're actually called Mustin's, Mustard Scorpion Crosses, growing up north in West Australia. And there's a, 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 one of my favourite producers coming out very soon with that base sauce coming at, towards the end of the year. So nice. I'm not going to let it out of the bag, but it is coming through. So All right, mate. Well, let's give this one a red hot crack, eh? He... Oh, it's on. It's on oh, the it's sauce. Running. She's, She's running. running. She's mm-hmm. running. She needs a diaper. Uh, <laughs> oh, very quick so I don't spill it. All right, quick. Cheers. Three, two, one. Go for it. <laughs> no, no. Mm, so what, sweet what, heat. Yeah. Ooh. So I wanted to ask you, um, look, what have you learned so far from the chili world and the chili community? Like Spews being dust. Views. That's one, yeah. <laughs> but um in in, <laughs> in general in a general That's number one. Your, number one. <laughs> What's your general consensus of the things that you learned since you've been in the chili community? Like, give us a bit of a rundown. And it's, sometimes it's, it can be quite a steep learning curve. You go, oh, okay, well, you know, some people aren't friends with other people. Not everyone's going to be friends with other people, you know, and stuff like that, you know, and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, for the, for the variety 
of people that we have in the community in a very wide range of places, completely global, for all of us to come together for this very singular passion of, of fire in the mouth, it is very, very impressive. Uh, I'm not sure if other communities like, you know, um, Matchbox Car community or the uh, firefighters of uh, the world community or, you know, the, the My Little Pony community. I hear they're pretty, pretty <laughs> bloody tired as well. But how, do you know about, how do you know about that community as well? I watched a YouTube video. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a good excuse. <laughs> just hear this. Just hear the background. Here's... <laughs> You got the main for it there, Phil. You're ready to go. Yeah, the girls, the girls strike the main. That's not all these. Oh snap! <laughs> yeah, they strike the chest hair as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, get it going. Oh, like my dad said, you know, curls get the girls. Stop it, Nike. Ah, oh, I thought it was spews get the views. <laughs> oh yeah, well, what? No, that's not. Yeah, spews don't get the girls, but I don't know. <laughs> no, no, that was really messed up. We're moving yeah, on. <laughs> The Chili community is amazing. Time out. And I've, I've met some freaking amazing bunch of legends out there that, you know, I haven't met in the flesh. This is it. This is online. This is chat. This is on stream. And it's amazing. I feel like most of you crew are like my lifelong buddies that I know so well and would have my back no matter what went down. And, yeah, special shout-outs to, uh, to my brotherhood. You know who you are, boys. And Brother from another mother. Finally, uh to shake your hands and give you those fist bumps one day. And yeah, it's, it's, it's top notch, man. I reckon, I reckon we're onto it. We're onto a bloody good thing. And I five, good very nice. Yeah, freaking legend. Is it we on this side? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, now this side, this one. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Very, very Doink. nice. Oh, I hit so hard. My hand went through. <laughs> I'm rich and through. It's ah. <laughs> oh, oh, bye. Do it again, right? Oosh. Oh, Terrible start, director. This chili is working, man. My throat chili. is on fire. Oh, I thought you were going to go, I'm so high. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Well, let's go to the next, the next source. Uh, what's, um, the next source I got is Freya's Fire from the old Viking, Viking. chili there. Very oh, yeah. runny, but very good flavored um, hot sauce. It's got a real, it's a real uh, dominant lemon kind of and lime kind of flavor which is really good so i really recommend this as seafood you love your seafood you want a bit of spice with it jesus definitely hit, hit this up hey good stuff and one of the other things i wanted to did want to mention with um the viking is that thor's hammer have you tried that thor's hammer yet no i've heard how brutal it is it, it's it is probably one of the hottest sources i've tried with no extract so it's like the most hottest organic hot sauce i've tried so minus extracts like we're not talking about extract hot sauces this no. is probably the hottest one i've tried without extract i was like wow that is brutal because you guys probably saw in the review i did i put i poured on a cooking spoon <laughs> and oh, i like, felt it yeah. i felt it afterwards holy crap yeah no i mean like a big wooden cooking spoon the big stirring oh, one. Oh yeah i poured it and i've gone boof i'm gone oh that's yeah that's pretty fucking hot <laughs> yeah yeah, well done, right. Stonker. You, you burn him good, and and I'm looking yeah. forward to trying them. Yeah, Stonker, uh, seriously. And good Send flavors, Stonker. Like... Stonker, big shout out, Stonker. Real good, good flavors, mate. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so what do you got there? I'm going to. Oh, the, the demonic. Yeah, signed by the man himself. The man himself, big old Dave, demonic Dave. Should have kept this one on the shelf for collecting, but fuck it. Oh, I it's good. It's a good sauce. <laughs> it's a good sauce. I mean, look, it's hot. But it's good for the intensity it is. It's mm. a really good flavor too. Like it's good to get that kind of balance. It's so hard to get that balance of flavor and heat. And they've, they've really done it with gorgeous sauces. So, so a big shout out to those boys too. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. We're stoked to get our hands on one this baby. But I tell you what, you Are start you... to fill it up to five spoonfuls. Five. <laughs> I did five in a row. Yeah, that's right. You went at all the, out at, some. At the end, I was like, oh yeah, that, I feel that one. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll just go one big, big one big one. Oh, you give a big cooking spoon. Yeah, almost. <laughs> All right, mate. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> really <color. too. laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that's Very good. Nice. The, the lemon, the lemon and the lime with chicken. It's really good. Yeah, yeah I, that's I good. Mm. I agree. All right. Yeah. Man, this oh, chicken. The question. I'm gonna eat chili sauce and chicken more often. This is really good chicken. It really accentuates the flavor. Because 
for chicken, it's a very mild kind of flavor for chicken, so that the sauce absorbs it well. Mm. Yep. All right, so next question. What was your worst chili moment, mate? Uh, shitting blood. <laughs> Dare I ask, what happened there? Why were you shitting blood? Are you serious? Yeah, man. Fuck. Most of your chili head knows when you go too far. Your body fucking tells you. And if it's not vomiting, if it's not cramping, it's shitting blood. Okay, well, Sorry I'm, I'm yet guys with a weak stomach, but <laughs> no, Fat that's fair. Cool. Did it to me. A teaspoon of that. And the next day, I thought I had my period. A teaspoon. You thought you had your period. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm a, I'm a bleeder. Being a ranger, I used to always get blood noses pretty easy, but not in my ass. Being a, <laughs> we got a bleeder. <laughs> We got a bleeder. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that scene out of there's something about Mary. He's like, "All right, we're gonna we're gonna pull this zipper on the count of three. One, Ooh. two, we got a bleeder." <laughs> I'm like, oh, so how'd you nice. how'd you get the beads above the Frank boy? <laughs> All right. All right, mate. Yeah, Jay, Jay just is laughing there. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows. He knows what it's like. He's, he's like, I've seen that. Himself. I seen that craziness. No, I've got to say, I've never, I've never um, had the the bleeding at the anus kind of thing, but I've certainly um, was bent over, crying in the shower, praying to God. It, the God part didn't work, so I thought, okay, I'll give Satan a go. He would, he just laughed at me as well, so I was just sat in there and cried. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, it, you, I know what you're saying. You get those crazy cat cramps, and um, yeah. the the number one rule that I've learned is make sure you eat or prep before you yep. eat it. And I made the mistake of not eating for 24 hours because I was so busy. And then what did I do? Um, I did a dozen sauces and then, oh. and then the world's hottest corn chips. And it didn't end well. Ooh. It didn't end well for me. So it, I was surprised that I didn't bleed at my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I, it was, it was a point where I, I was coughing up black crap and, and then um, I, I was telling Neil Smith this, um, I was trying to, because you know, when, you know, you know, you get to the point where you spew so much when you remember Shout when you were younger. Dippy Sneed Company, Neil Smith, the OG Chili Review of All Australia. <laughs> man. The old pod father, that's right. <laughs> um, <Keep going>. <laughs> no, I was saying that there's this moment, yeah, where um, you know, honey, when you get young, when you're younger, and you first start to drink and you puke until you got nothing left. I did oh, that. Bile. I, in your- yeah, I did that. And then um, I've gone, right, I need more. So I've got bread. I'm eating bread in the shower, bent over, drinking water, eating bread, drinking water. Like, and then like this cycle, spew, eat, drink, spew, eat, drink. Until eventually I ran out of water and I like, looked up at the at the, at the the um, shower going, what do I do? I'm like, fuck it. Just like drinking my own shower water. <laughs> it was just, it was so messed up. And I'm just like, I need, I, I just needed to survive. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I need to get through this. <laughs> I think Spears are going to get the views early, crew. If he keeps talking like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and oh, and that's right. And I was holding the bread while I was bent over in the um, in the shower, so that it was like I was dr- eating wet bread from shower water bread. <laughs> it's so messed up. I was like, "Yep, yeah, that's definitely my worst moment." <laughs> well done. I'm glad all you right, shared mate. that with us all here, so we can oh, all give you shit for your rest of your life. Yeah. Oh, I'm never going to hear the end of it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. Well, look, let's go another source, another flavor. Um, another question. What's the next one you got there, buddy? All right. I see you've got this guy in there and I've forgotten his name. He's the only guy I don't remember his name. I'm this sure one? You can help me out. Oh, no. Oh, no. So what's his name? Is it Vaughn? That's Cobra. Is it, is it Vaughn? Vaughn, Hen- Vaughn Henry. Yeah. I got it just then. Yeah. yeah he's, a, he's based the on the Gold Coast in Mudgery Bar. Um, that's Magic Sauce. Ultra it Hot is. Magic Sauce. It's the Ultra Hot Magic. And nice. he made the trek all the way over here to Perth. For the same festival um, last year, was it one? Right, no, COVID. Fuck that. So last year, COVID. That fuck that. When, <laughs> yeah. So that's when Johnny was here, and it was brilliant because I got to meet Vaughn's wife because Vaughn was out gallivanting, and I was like, "Shit, <laughs> yeah." So how's this? This is a Reaper soy sauce. I had to try that one. Soy. It's actually pretty good. I cannot believe it. what a brilliant fucking idea. The only man. the only other person I've met that's done a Reaper soy sauce was the. Uh, Fine Longoma Chili, so Adrian Zaccaro in uh, Queensland has got a Reaper soy. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called, but it's it's really good. It's a really good flavor because it's got that kind of kickerman kind of consistency. Really good, you know, that good soy sauce kickerman. 
it's a Kikamai's a Japanese oh, soy yeah. sauce. Yep. So really, really beautiful consistency with that kick as well. And it's, yeah, so it's good flavor. All right, well, I've, I'm delving into the uh, 13 Angry Scorpions, uh, Jekyll and Hyde there. This one. Oh, yeah. these well, guys are from Brizzy. One? I've seen it around, but never. never um, 13 Angry Scorpions yeah. from Brisbane. Who is he, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I've, I've, I've never actually met the maker, unfortunately. Um, okay. So, uh, 13 Angry Scorpions, give us a yell out, actually. Wouldn't mind getting in contact with you, get some more flavors too, actually. Aruluian Chili Festival, Perth, says Andrew Skinner. Aruluian? Yeah, yeah Aru Andrew Skinner. It's, it's a um, botanical gardens up in the hill. Ooh, oh, all right. Put the, put the picture back up. So right. that's, that's Chef Kenny's daughter. She is in walking in the footsteps of a great man producing awesome quality food. Um, nice. Don't recall the name. Let's call her uh, Young. Young Skinner. Kenny. What's... Skinner. Skinner. Oh, yeah. It must be Skinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Moving on. <laughs> All right. And so, yeah, you got the ultra hot. This is a, very running. Oh, wow. Crazy that is running. Course. I got dead once 50 bucks to chug the whole lot at work. And I would have done it if he had the 50 bucks. He goes, no, no, I'll pay you tomorrow. And I went, well, you you're like, yeah, whatever. You're like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> all right, mate. To you, man. I said, yeah, transfer it right now. And all the transfer others. that to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheers, mate. <laughs> mm. All oh, right. man. Top notch, Vaughn. Mm. Man, you're on to it. I've got to get some more of your brilliant sauces. And you got an epic range too, bro. Definitely. So then I'm going to delve from the worst to the, the proudest, mate. Which, what's your proudest chili moment that you've 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 um, had? What's the the thing that you've you've been absolutely most proudest of? Wow, good question, man. Um, emceeing uh, chili eating competitions is is pretty sweet because you get to to deal out the death to these poor unsuspecting crew. Deal out the death. <laughs> Uh, personally, I don't get to hand out the chilies. We always have helpers to do that. Rob's got to do in the last one, which is good for him because he's competed before and he's suffered. So he got to switch. Oh, Andrew! Andrew just messaged saying Megan Skinner, Megan Chef Meg. Megan, that's right. Yeah. Chef Meg. Cheers, cheers, Andrew. Uh, so yeah, it, it feels good to be able to to hand out quality chilies for crew to chomp on and quality and, pain. And get yeah, get those endorphins cranking and see who can outlast. Uh, <laughs> I've only done three comps crew, so I'm not well experienced. But each one, we've we've never even got anywhere near the Reaper. It's always been fully done, really? dusted, tap outs way before, even even like round scorpion range. Usually, wow. the ghost, Chalk Ghost usually nails most of the competition. Chalk and Ghost. Yeah, we've never had we've never had to do a speed round of um, fastest to finish. Which is we'll have to get impressive. we'll have to get Brianna Skinner to go over to you, your comps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be. <laughs> she's scary, scary, dude. She's scary. She's like, she goes to me. Oh, there's a there's a place they're doing a challenge, a shot challenge. If you can do a, a reaper, they'll give you a shot. And I'm like, she goes, let's go and clear them, clean them up. <laughs> I'll take like, all your shots. I'm like, yeah, I did one. <laughs> Shit. Her record was 20, 28 reapers, I believe. 20, 28. Damn. Yeah, well ridiculous. Done, ridiculous. Hey, I'm like, far out. Oh, yeah, the sauce we talked about before by Adrian is uh, Raiju sauce by Firing One Gourmet Chili. Thank you. That's the one. Thanks for that, uh, Shendel. Yeah, yeah, all right. And talking about the chilies that were growing that just brutalized everyone, that was Adam. Adam's an awesome chili producer, and a lot of his pods are fucking top notch. What's so, always helped us out. So if they're, tapping out, if they're tapping out a ghost, mate, what's his company's name called? Um, he's not, he's not legit. He's just a small grower down there in Marga River. Okay, uh, I call cool. him Mr. Margs. Mr. Margs. He's a, he's a freaking legend. He, he, he's he got so many brilliant varieties. Um, Come we on. also get a few from, uh, through Dingo Hot Sauce from his grower up in Dingo. Yeah. And we've yeah. sometimes got. Mate, they'll get you, baby, won't they? <laughs> a dingo <laughs> stole my baby. A dingo stole me baby. Crocky. <laughs> 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 Smells like fucking wow. I forgot who I was getting me to be black. All right. Well, let's move on, buddy. <laughs> um, I'm not chatting with American mates, they always come out with a dingo joke every day. Yeah. Oh, no. I went to America and they're like, say, they're going, can you say crikey? Say crikey. You know, can you, can you say jingo? Can you? And I'm like, a crikey, dingo. Oh, geez, a beauty. What a snarl. People are going, oh. I'd be like, oh my God, he said it. 
<laughs> what the he fuck? said the line. He said the line. Say it, man. Say it. Yeah. All right, buddy. So what's the next flavor you got there, mate? Well, speaking of Andrew. Whoa, speaking of uh, that. Adrian. Old, <laughs> Adrian, <laughs> Ribber Juju. Yeah. I've tried that when it first came out, mate. At the, uh, the, Ch- the Chilogan Festival, the day it came out, I think it was. Oh, it's cool. good stuff. Fine line. All right, well, it's the one I've got it onto now. New um, edition, is it? Recently, thanks to Ooh. the 10 Wonders uh, raffle. I managed nice. to win a good collection, so it's nice. awesome to get my hands on some new stuff. This is one I've got today. Uh, this is from Dr. Paul's Hot Sauce. I believe he's from your direction, mate. To the old he's, WA as well. Um, Paul Matanovic. Matanovic. He's a, another OG Perth chili producer. Oh, gee. Champion. Champion bloke. Um, he's, yeah, named, what's up, Doc? he's named that sauce after his daughter, Rupee. And Ruby's Ripper. be very careful because that shit is brutal. That is oh, no, I've tried it before. Family. First first time I tried it, I was like, oh, that's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, and um, I, I won't say the person's name, but I tried it with a person who was a reviewer for a long time as well. And he's just like, yeah, like he said, no, OG, like, OG, OG, you know, eating pods and then he tries some of that. And he goes, oh, that's, that's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck, that got him. Holy shit. Like, it's so rare for this particular person who's just like, how the fuck did it get him? It nailed him as well. And the thing about the sauce is it's got longevity. It's got longevity of burn. So it doesn't yeah. let up. It's got that classic Reaper where you go, oh, yeah, I'm okay. Then wham, you're like, oh, there it is. And you're like, and it won't stop. <laughs> Ooh. I think it was about a year ago we decided to do a teaspoon on site at this pub up north in Port Hedland with some other crew. And uh, we did we did the Reaper, the Ruby's Reaper and we did also another Reaper sauce. And all four of us that did it were running to the shitter to spew up afterwards. <laughs> Shit. Fuck we were all fucked. <laughs> all right, mate. Well, let's, let's delve into this one. You ready to go? Yeah, we'll just pour it up. Some juju. The juju. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Just felt like it. <laughs> felt like a right moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got a lot going on. Cheers, mate. Cheers, matey. Mm. Mm. Yep. That's definitely Rupee's Reba. Oh, that's got <laughs> it's a good bit of chicken, though. As well, I reckon. Mm. Um, so the question I want to ask you. You're a bit of a you're a bit of a you're a bit of an AV expert, mate. I wanted to ask you, what's some tips you want to give to some newbies about um, AV equipment, you know, and getting into the whole um, YouTube and being a videographer? What's what kind of AV equipment would you, or tips about AV equipment would you give to people? Get a quality tripod. No one likes to see videos when you're moving around constantly, or you've got your phone propped on the table and all you can <laughs> see is your bloody chin and your neck. Get a tripod. <laughs> They're cheap. Get a dry blood. Look, look at this one. It's freaking, uh, it's a little bit of plastic crap that came free with a laser level. So get a <laughs> tripod, uh, a decent camera. I, I don't have a decent camera, so I can't really talk that up. Like I said, we started with a phone. I've still used this to this day on, on location at competitions. But this camera we're using now is a pretty good webcam. 1080, that works well. But I am going to invest one day on a really good SLR. I reckon that's nice, really nice. Us up. We we just had it. We just had a little comment there from Shandell. She's saying the poor subtitles have no freaking idea what you guys are saying. Lol. So so there you go. Oh, that's that's, that's yeah. some AV. How do you get the, the comment the uh, the subtitles off? Because the subtitles aren't ready for Australians. <laughs> they just aren't. No. 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 Like, what are you guys saying? Like no hablo español. <laughs> Maybe we have to speak a bit slower and clearer. Maybe we're going to speak like Americans and pronounce our E's and R's like this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you like, y'all you boys, boys like, back now. Y'all boys like Mexico. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, right. I am fired up now, man. You feeling warmer? I'm feeling a bit warmer now. Like, I'm like, woo. <sighs> Don't need no drugs for this. Hell yeah. I, I might have to do a quick quick substitute here. I'm looking at your lineup. And if I plan this well, how many have we got left? Four. We got four left. Oh, he's thinking, he's thinking. What's going on? Wouldn't it be wouldn't it be better if we nail the same source at the same time? Sure, why not? What do you reckon, Crew? Should we do a quick bit of switcheroo up in here? <laughs> 
A little switcheroo, she? Yeah, she? Not much of the frog. Where's Michelle now? <laughs> what, is he, what is he doing, crew? What is he doing? Don't ever do it. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, my Adrian, you, you make good sauce. I'm so high. I got the crap high. I a good crew. Come on, Tally. man. Tally. You're, you're <laughs> no, no. Guy. No, oh yeah, that too. Yeah, no, I meant that the um the Herbert the Pervert from Family Guy. Hey, Chris. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm so okay if you take off your right. shirt. You're drooling already. All right. Well, um, this next one, the same one, kind of vein. Let's go. What's you got there? Arson fire. Who does that one? Say it properly. Arson. Oh, arson on fire. Right. Okay. Yeah. Arson on fire, yeah. mate. Look Where's at this that one from, mate? Creature holding two flaming sticks. <laughs> 75% makes... pure super hot puree. So this is um this is one of the OGs I was talking about before from Perth. This is Hellfire. Hellfire chili, also known as heat seekers. So nice. Fucking drool. So Hellfire is more their source range and Wildfire is more their plant, fresh plant range. Good so one. Um, well this you, is you, this you, is you... what I'm on. I'm on Cobra's uh what's it called? Fever. Fever. Face the Fury. Face the Fury. And it's labelled 1.64 million Scoville. Woo! Now you're talking so she, out there. She, she's warm. <laughs> yeah, these guys have been around for a long time. This is the third owners of the of the name. I've, I've known the first and the, the third. Okay. Uh, shout outs to Susan and Jerry Carter. They ran the last uh, chili festival that we did the competition at. Cool. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It was bloody awesome. Yeah, we buddy. Have Maruga Scorpion, Trinidad Scorpion, Butchalokia, and Vinegar. So, 75% super hot, 25% vinegar. This shit. Damn. Damn. They give it a 10 out of 10. Eight. Well, yeah, this doesn't even go 10 out of 10. It just goes 1.64 million Scoville. I'm like, yep. Yeah. You know, and then you try, you're like, oh, yeah, I believe that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is This is thick. This was meant to be reserved further up, but did the little switcheroo so we can keep it in secret. <laughs> it's meant to be further up. All right. So is there a rough guesstimate or have or how hot you reckon it is out of Scoville? If you were to 16, put a guesstimation. Million. Six million? Sixteen. No. Yeah, it's can't be sixteen. Space, Look at it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a it's a cap crystal, is it? <laughs> oh, I'm All right, mate. Now as well. this All right. Shit's working. Let's let's get this down, eh? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> all right well oh, passion fruit Whew. passion fruit just pure well, super hot in the same vein of what we were sort of talking about before with the av equipment what advice would you give to youtubers and videographers um that are getting into the game that are new to the game don't play music that's copyrighted youtube <laughs> does not like that and you'll get a strike you get three strikes you're out oh is that right yeah, they can um, have your video removed, which happened to me. So that reminds me, before I go any further, do not try these challenges at home. I do not uh, instigate or condemn <laughs> any of these stupid acts we are doing. Um, don't do it at home to kids. Or remember, or remember, this is being attempted by professional idiots. <laughs> yep, we are trained idiots. We are professional idiots for a living now. <laughs> So I got in trouble as well for that, for my nine lives challenge. The first chili vodka hellfire challenge was removed from my YouTube because I was promoting a dangerous challenge. Oh, fuck. Righto. Yeah. Okay. So I need now to put that disclaimer in front of any dangerous video. So that means every single chili eating competition on YouTube will now be removed. <laughs> right. Sucks. Absolute sucks. Fair enough, mate. All right. Well, that, 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 that tackles that question pretty well. So another question, another source. So... I've got a new one here that um, I, it sort of resonates this year so well. But Uncle Mungo's COVID nineteen rated nineteen out of ten heat, and she is juicy and thick, and she's really hot. Oh, he's got it too. Oh, they're both wearing masks there. So That's what I'm saying, chilly, chilly. We got to we're linking up now, boy. Oh, <laughs> it's a long way to the top if you want a chilly roll. <laughs> You're holding your composure well, mate. Your tolerance is up there. No, oh, stop it. No, keep going. <laughs> Holy crap. Maybe I can get to the end. You can do it, buddy. As long as you, you, you can answer the questions with true or false. That's when it's going to be hard for you. Oh, yeah. Such a long way. 
Such a long way. When's the first yeah, time we yeah. tried this one? Tom Russell. Uncle Mungo's. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Tom Russell. Legend. Um, actually, it's a good segue talking about Nine Lives. I won this by taking part in Nine Lives on that certain day. Nice. And shout outs to Jezza for sending it over to me. Good stuff. All right, mate. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. Woo. That's nice and warm, mate. What do you have for these? So I want to ask you. Yeah, a bit of tomato in there. It's um, hmm. orange. Combining nine fruit and vegetables, packed full of vitamins and antioxidants, is a hot sauce that assists warding off even the most aggressive viruses. Or <coughs> help you go through all this, this that stockpile toilet paper. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. It's such a good, it's such a good label. <laughs> All right. What so I want, to ask, I want to ask you, um, passing on the chili jeans, Matty, um, with your kids and stuff like that. And you're obviously your partner, and you, they're, they're sort of a bit involved with what you're doing there in the, um, the chilliness and all the spiciness. Um, have you passed, do you feel like you passed on your chili jeans or not really, or have you attempted to, what's the story with that? Yeah, we, uh, we're getting little. Whoop. Yeah. Spears get the views, that's for sure. That was a verb. <laughs> a verb? Uh-oh. Spears are getting the views. Quick, get the bucket. <laughs> Do you need to get a bucket? Oh, he's got the bucket. Spears get all oh, the views. Get the views bucket. Oh, snap. There you go, Sorry. Tommy. That was a bit of a bit of drool, bit of burp all in one there. <laughs> bit of drool, bit of burp, a little bit of fire. Wow. <laughs> How's that song go? Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Give me that which I desire. <laughs> give me burps, give me, give me spew, give me that which I desire. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys knew he was coming out. You knew he was going to be on here. Oh, she's there. You're not wrong about that, mate. <laughs> so passing on your chili vent jeans. Tell us a bit about that, mate, with all little mini swell on that. Yeah, so we're getting little swell on the streams on the channel. He loves to help out. He likes to hold the timer up. Yep. We had him chomping a chili. Uh, the one I chose, the Archie pineapple, was a bit too hot for him to start on, but that's all right. We backed it down a bit. He likes the snacks. Um, he likes doing the the live streams because he's been on – he's watched so many. He's a big YouTube buff, so he, he knows how it goes. So he loves being on YouTube. Yeah, he loves the comments. He's got a lot of supporters out there because of his awesome hair. Uh, nice. The UK chili queen Shahina Wasim herself. Oh, really? The biggest fans. Yep. Wow. So he, I think he's got more of a following than me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow, Spew's definitely getting the views, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> we've got the bucket out now. So, are you ready for another question, another source? Absolutely. All right, mate. Well, let's let's give it a red or crack. <laughs> I always feel sorry for him at the same time. You sort of knew what you signed up for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did. All yeah, right, buddy. The dolphins are cranking. I'm getting very lightheaded. Good old dolphin rush. That's the way. All right, mate. Well, um, the next source I've got here is from Dunny. Where's the Dunny? Is what it's called. It's a director's blend. Oh, he got it as well. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh ching. let's go. Ready? 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 Ching. Ching. Oh, sorry. Uh, ching. Ching. Cheers. Ching. Ching. <laughs> cheers, Maddie. That's the way. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get this one on the spoon or whatever you're whacking it on. I've got mine on my chicken. I'm not whacking it on. I'm going to whack it off. I'll whack it off. <laughs> Crank that out. Yeah. Now, baby. is it Come true up. Danny's put extract in here? I can't see any verified information. I, I I don't know. I um and I would like to know, but it is fucking hot. <laughs> so I can't tell you, but it certainly fucking feels like it does. But I cannot, I cannot, I can't, cannot confirm nor or agree deny. or deny what whatever the word is, but I can't, yeah, Ooh. it doesn't say it, but you know, fuck, it, it could be, it's pretty fucking hot. <laughs> oh, the owl has left the barn crew. <laughs> hoo, 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 hoo. Hoo, hoo. Who let the dogs out? Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> oh, my tongue is fine. <sighs> The party is jumping, it's well, it's spelling. Hey, yeah, 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 yo. 
And down oh, east, have a bow. Hey, yeah, 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 yo. To reduce the content, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, you ready? Yep. All right, three, yeah, two, friends. one. Oh, yeah, that's bloody hot. Oh, shit. That's just pure pods, man. And then, and then it builds too. You're like, oh, fuck, there it is. Oh, there it is. All right, Reaper well. Number one. Oh, not wrong. Please, that builds. It's in the throat. That builds. It's in the throat. All right, so why are you feeling that, mate? I wanted to ask you, what's in the future for Swell? What's the uh, the game plan for the old Swellmeister? What is he doing other than chugging a beer and freaking out and over a puddle of a fucking bucket? <laughs> Capsaicin cramps. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, let's say a little bit further than, than your cap cramps at the moment. Oh, not short term? Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> the challenges have been going well. I've been getting into them. So uh, more challenges, doing some more on-site challenges. It's good to be with an audience compared to here at home, just with a with an online viewing audience. That's a bit different. You still mm. get the encouragement. But having a crowd there to cheer you on with the applause, that's something even better. Okay. Uh, we haven't had any, obviously, chili festivals to get any chili chomping challenges going. So hopefully we do. In November, we have the Ravenswood Comp uh, Festival again. So I'm hoping to enter that. But my roster does not, unfortunately, line up for it. So what oh, I'm going to do... Is I'm going to hand over the Chili Chomping Champion crown. Not that I have a crown, but oh, how about the <laughs> how about the Chili Chomping Champion uh, neck pillow? Nice. That I wore. <laughs> also known <laughs> as, as as the shrimp. Uh, Robbie shrimp Robertson. Yeah. Shrimp Robbie Robertson. From, uh, <laughs> on the Out of the Blank podcast, thinks this is uh, Out of the Blank. What's up, Robbie podcast. Robertson? That's and right. Blank. He's got one. So I'm going to hand this over right now to Demonic Dave Shorter because oh, he will be at the Ravenswood Chili Festival helping helping gods and sources sell his wares. And if he doesn't enter that competition, I'm going to kick his fucking ass. <laughs> he better, eh? He's a fucking machine, isn't he? He's a chili He's terminator. A machine. And as far Ooh. as I'm aware, he hasn't actually entered a chili eating competition. Jeez. He's done 16 Reapers, so I know that he can do it. So yeah. you got my support. You got my neck pillow. Dave, get on to it. Yeah, mate. Dave. Smash it, Dave. Represent you. WA and, and A. Full stop. And how many <laughs> shout outs? That's it, mate. All right, buddy. Well, we've got a little fellow over here. What's going on? Hey. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> What's that? Oh, thank you. All right. See you later. Well, that's... Uh, name? Little koala yeah, that's Kevy. That's Kevy the koala. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Kevin here, he's given us a bit of uh, some some uh, questions here for old Fuzzy Facts. Have you heard about Fuzzy Facts yet? Yeah, yeah, I've seen this, and I, I like how you correct us all when you go, um, actually, it's true. And then you go, actually, no, it's false. Actually, uh, it's actually true. It's actually, right, that's, if, you, like, if you ask anyone actually, in my family. <laughs> you're onto it. You've got all the fucking facts, so let's yeah. see how we get. <laughs> well, I, I got that. That is a little side note, if anyone doesn't know. Anyway, all my family that do know me. Like when I was nine, I just had this weird uh, hobby where I'd find out lots of facts about things and go, well, right. what do you think about this? And they're going this and I'm going, well, actually, <laughs> and my dad's like, what the Literally. fuck is with this nine-year-old kid? Fuck. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. So I challenge you to not, not say actually. Let's see. No, actually. actually. Um, what's a good word instead of actually? Uh, the fact is you're wrong. <laughs> Oh, okay. That. Okay. Well, I'll try that. So that's my challenge. Your challenge is you've got to try and answer these true or false. All right. You ready? Are we doing the last source, mate? Yeah, we're doing the last source. And then you've got to try and answer these fuzzy facts, true or false about Australia. Okay. All right, mate. So yeah. last source, arguably, debatably, the hottest source in Australia, Scorpion Strike on Steroids, 2.25 yep. million Scoville. You've got the widow maker there, mate. The one that's on yep. hot, hot ones, isn't it? I've heard um I've heard steroid on steroids is full on now. It's our that's the one that's the it. one I accidentally had at the start. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, oh I'm awake now. <laughs> Shout out to Thug Thug Spice, aka 
What's his fucking name? Come on. Chili Factory? No. Adam George? knows. He's, he's had it. He's destroyed a few people. Doug uh, Spice. <laughs> Jason, Jason, Jason Carl. Jason Carl. Jason Carl. He, he knows how right. good that is. But now this is Dingo. So oh, shout yeah. Shout out Lee Nash. This is the barrel aged version of the Widowmaker. So he did nice. two seasons worth of super hot fermentating in this baby. Yeah. So come on. Release. And it's fucking brutal. All oh, right, mate. Brutal. All right. Well, without further ado, let's get this one a go. Are you ready? Oh, I've got a cling on. Hold on. You got a clinger? We got a clinger. It's a five stage five clinger. Run, run, run. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, out. she's running. Oh, shit. That's way too much. All right. Here we go. All right, ready? All right, fun. three, two, one. All right, fuzzy facts. First Ooh, question. Hit me. Right? In 1907, was the first NRL grand final? True or false? NRL grand final. Yep. Yeah. 1907. True or false? Is it that old? Yeah, I reckon it's over 100 years. True. The fact is, <laughs> it's, it's false. 1908. <laughs> oh, All right. Socross. Socross. All right. Yeah, 1908, so it's only one year. Um, all right, second question. Roosters won the 1908 Grand Final. True or false? What chickens play rugby? <laughs> the Roosters, Sydney Roosters. Ah, oh. well, you know, we're not much rugby fans over here in the West, so. Yeah. True. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's actually, oh, he got me oh, with the second one. Oh. Two questions in, false. he fucked it. False. It was actually, it was actually, <laughs> then I said actually again, fire out. Um, Rabbitohs, it was the Rabbitohs, mate. The Rabbitohs uh, did it. Um, yeah, Rabbitohs. that's right. All right, okay. Third question. St. George has won the most NRL grand finals in a row. True or false? Uh, in a row. He's thinking. Fuck. Fucking where's a coin? I'll flip it. Heads. <laughs> Heads. <laughs> go what does true. that mean? Go, go true, mate. True, mate, is, is 11, is the most consecutive wins of grand finals in a row they're very yeah, much yeah, all right yeah. but that's in a row okay so fourth questions right rabbits won most grand finals ever in nrl history since 1908 true or false he's like oh this it's actually true mate i don't it's know true. anything about fucking rugby mate this is stacked <laughs> against well, me <laughs> well, it's actually true. It's 21. They won 21 right. grand finals. Well, it's not stacked against you. It's Obviously. only 50-50. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. Number five. This is a um, non-rugby league one. It's AFL one, right? It is mm. believed the, Abor the Aboriginal game of Mangoose inspired many of the rules for AFL. True or false? Mangoose. Mangoose. Oh, no, no. Mangoose is obviously um, something completely different. So false? That's 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 correct. You're right. It's false, but it's called Mangrook. It was a real uh, game that the, the originals used to play and it inspired AFL to this day, Mangrook. Whoa. Is man. that? All right. That's where they stole it from. There you go. Crazy, man. Hey. All right. Number six. Um, the Americans, four times 100 meters freestyle relay team, had never been defeated until the 2000 Olympics when they were beaten by Australia. True or false? Ah, see, that's a trick question. There was no 2000 Olympics. It was cancelled. What? Yep. <laughs> yep. It didn't happen. So false. <laughs> it's true. And there was the Sydney 2000 Olympics. What? Where was I? Not in Sydney, obviously. <laughs> the winner is Sydney. The winner is Sydney. <laughs> that was, I'm like, are you being serious? Are you fucking with me? All right. <laughs> In 2006, 12 Victorians were admitted to hospitals while three people visited emergency departments for lawn bowls related injuries. True or false? No, that was COVID. <laughs> no, no, no. In 2006. Injuries. 2006. Yeah. Yeah, that's dodgy, man. I used to play bowls when I was young. So dangerous. Definitely. You would cook swell. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's, no, it's actually false. Uh, it's 37. Um, admitted to hospitals, and eight visited emergency departments. So it's more. All right. Two more to go. All right, three more to go, right? right? The Socceroos have the world record for the largest margin of victory in an international soccer match, beating um, uh, American Samoa 31-0. That's around a 
was it? That's around one goal every three minutes. True or false? Bloody hell. Samoa play soccer. Yeah. I know what they did. They just sat down on the field and watched. <laughs> so you reckon it's true or false, mate? True. I don't think they could play soccer for nuts. They're rugby players. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow. Fair enough. But yeah, it actually is true, mate. It's bloody true. How crazy is that? I was like, 31 nil. It's the biggest soccer game win ever. Wild, eh? All right. So they did more they, they were there. They were playing. They were there. They just didn't win. And so off or <laughs> they didn't play kick or the move ball. or kick the ball or sit around. They yeah, keep the offs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Two <laughs> questions. Two, two questions to go. All right. 1974. Man in the match for an Amco ma- um, Cup got a silver cup. True or false? Amco Cup. Amco Cup. The fuck is that? Amco Cup. Hmm. I want to say, but I, I think I'd wreck it for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. I know that. What? <laughs> no, it's false. They used to give you a pair of jeans. A new pair of jeans. <laughs> For Amco what? jeans. Amco is jeans. Tennis? Amco what jeans. What bloody sport are you talking about? Bro? Yeah, it was tennis. I think it was tennis. Anyway. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last one. Last oh. one. Now, let's see if you can get this one. Uh, this is pretty incredible as well myself. So, I want to see if you, you can figure this one out, right? All right. Yep. I know, I'm not a, you know you're not a huge NRL fan, but let's just see if you can figure this out with logic, right? Fucking fire, bro. Woo! We can fire. Fire! Okay. Fire! Fire! Okay. Manly Sea Eagles player Matt Ballin has been in three NRL grand finals. He's touched the football 247 times and has never made an error. Is that true or false? Ah, you see, the Manly Sea Eagles was one team that I did follow back when I was a teenager because my schoolmate was a fan back when they were the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles, I believe. Yep, that's right. And so I know that player is, is quite... Uh, uh, skilled <laughs> and uh, probably did that. So true. That's bloody right, mate. True. Yeah, I know my mugby all over yeah. the mugby fucking trivia. <laughs> Aaron Walski said, "Smash this, mate. Have you got one right yet?" <laughs> what, two, I think, or three. No, you got to have two or three. Yeah, that was good, mate. That's good. Good stuff on you, mate. That's the one. So, um, look, uh, you've, you've you've nailed the um the fire try. You've got through all the fuzzy facts. Um, you got 60 seconds now, matey, to say whatever you want to all your fans, to all your family, your friends. Uh, tell us what's going on in the future as well and what's happening um, in your YouTube and your Facebook channels. Damn. Are you rolling out the red carpet, Sean Evans? That's style? it. <laughs> no. Really? Chili Philly style. Chili Philly, Philly style. style. That's good. Copyright. You can't use the red uh, carpet. Copyright. So, Big Steve. <laughs> you, you bunch of chili <laughs> chomper champions. You know what Swell's all about. He loves to come along to the YouTube channel, checking out all the craziness he likes to get up to. So go along YouTube. Type in Crystal Chili. It'll come up. So it's Swell with an E. S E W E W L. Do it in Google, YouTube. It'll come up. Please support the channel. We're up to two hundred and three three hundred and and fuck. It's just here. <laughs> two hundred and three hundred and fucking shit. Fuck fuck. <laughs> I did the three hundred special. There we go. Three hundred and twenty six. We recently had four people unsubscribe for some fucking stupid reason. Why would you not want to watch this Muppet destroying himself and everyone's <laughs> like yesterday? Don't unsubscribe. Hey, you don't even have to watch the videos. You don't have to like them. Just hit that red subscribe button. Help support the dream crew. And as always, stay spicy. <laughs> That's not what I say. Keep you're looking chomping more and... jelly. <laughs> I was going to say, you're like looking more and more like Sean Evans every day. <laughs> next, thing, next thing, you're rolling out the, the red carpet and staying spicy. <laughs> yep. yep. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Thank you very much for coming on the show and uh, burning yourself throughout enta- entertainment. Um, anything else you want to say, mate, before you head off? Oh, thanks a lot for this opportunity, Chili Philly. It's been great on being on your show and being part of the Brotherhood, the Mr. Chili Crew, and the best community out there. Everyone in the chat, thanks a lot for joining us. Everyone watching this back later, where the fuck were you? But sure, <laughs> enjoy. And uh, yeah, keep it up, man. You're doing a great job and look forward to seeing more of your videos. Thanks, buddy. And I can't wait to be on your YouTube channel, hey? Definitely. All right, buddy. I'll just whack you back in the back there, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Peace out, crew. See you, buddy. All right, Spice Legends, thanks for joining us tonight in this crazy, fiery goodness. And um, seeing um, me and Swell just talking some shit, talking some bit of chili and um, seeing all the stuff that's going on there. Well, all I have to say, guys, for now, just keep calm.
Stay awesome. See you, legends.